sim to gain control of inventory. We will get started in just a couple minutes. I want to wait for a few others to join before we get started. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started with today's webinar. Um, first off, we are recording this webinar. Oops, let me, sorry, I just hit the wrong button. <laughs> we, are, we are recording today's webinar, so if you would like to share it with others um, or listen to it again after today's webinar, you can absolutely do so. Uh, that will be available in the virtual marketplace page as well. So as I said, my name is Jennifer Dematis. I'm a marketing manager on the SIM team and will be moderating today's webinar. Um, in addition, if there are questions um, or anything that you need throughout this webinar, we are answering questions over chat. We will do our best to get to all of them before um, the end of the webinar, but if not, we'll be able to follow up with you immediately after. Okay, so our focus today, uh, we are going to spend the next 60 minutes uh, walking through our SIM solution and how it can help retail and the pharmacies uh, tackle their inventory management challenges. We're going to speak through the agenda items, um, including seeing the solution and how it can help inventory management. We will learn about widely used tools, including our suggested order, access inventory controls, as well as reports. Uh, we're also going to spend some time deep diving into best practices for effective use of SIM. And then finally, we will spend time um, listening to other Cardinal Health customers who have utilized SIM as well. So speaking of customers, first we thought it would be helpful to hear from um, a current SIM customer. We're going to spend a few minutes talking with LaDonna Paler from the Medicine Shop 1339 to learn a little bit more about her experience with SIM. So first off, LaDonna, thank you so much for being here today. As the audience will see, um, you've been with SIM for nearly 15 years. And like many questions, or like many customers we hear from, have just struggled to gain control of inventory. So I think just a few questions for you, LaDonna. First, can you spend a few minutes discussing some of your challenges with inventory management before you joined SIM? Um, yes, I have. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, first of all, I've been with SIM, you know, since 2006, so it's kind of hard to remember the days of what it was like before I had SIM. But one of the big things that we used to do all the time is we used to save the bottles at the end of the day. And it would take a staff member, you know, before the close of the day, and we would have to punch in all the um, bottles at the end of the day to make sure that we got, um, you know, the drugs reordered that what we had used. And basically, we were just on our own as far as like up in the inventory when it came to seasonal drugs and things like that. Or as you know, our prescription counts grew, it was just up to us to, to bump up our own inventory like that. So it's kind of hard to think about going back to those days again. It's just a, sim a lot simpler life um, now being on SIM. Great, and I will say a lot of those challenges that you identified are very common in the retail independent pharmacies. So next question for you, what are some of the key areas where SIM has made an impact? Um, SIM has dramatically decreased my on-hand inventory. It keeps track, you know, of the inventory and how we use it. It automatically bumps up, you know, especially like in the antibiotic season, it automatically bumps up the inventory. And then as, you know, we, it gradually um, slows down my inventory, you know, whenever we're not in our peak season here at the pharmacy. So I think that's one of the biggest things it does. It keeps me so that I don't have as much on hand and it does re decrease the dollar amount that's on my shelves and um, keeps a little bit more in my pocket. 
Okay, great, great. And one more slide to share with the team today about your um, about your experience with Sim. So LaDonna, before I ask you the next question, so let me just give a quick summary about what the audience is seeing. Um, what this is, is a summary of our inventory performance for LaDonna's Pharmacy. Um, you'll see the before SIM as far as 2006 when they first joined, um, you know, prior to any automation being in place. And then you'll also see um, 2019. So even after nearly 15 years, the solution is helping to run the pharmacy inventory as lean as possible. Um, but I think what's most interesting about this data is that even after 15 years, you're still continuing to see a drop in average on hand inventory, excess inventory, and her turns have continued to increase. Um, it's a great example to show that LaDonna is still continuing to do more with less, you know, while maintaining a similar average uh, daily script volume, um, which is which is exactly what we would like to see, you know, or what we typically see with the average SIM customer. So LaDonna, along with the data that the audience is seeing, uh, what other data sources or pieces of information do you turn to in SIM in order to help your pharmacy? Um, probably the main thing that I look at from a pharmacist and owner standpoint is um, the excess inventory on hand. I'm constantly reviewing that. It's right on my um, screen every time I log on to SIM. It's right there, so I know exactly, okay, I've got this much in excess inventory. It's time to, you know, kind of walk the shelves and see if there's anything that has, you know, an unopened bottle that I could possibly return, you know. And another report that um, some of my techs look at is the negative on hand. Um, I've got a couple of techs that are kind of very vigilant and the negative on hands really drives them crazy with that. And when they see it on there, they're always constantly going in and um, monitoring those drugs to see if it's really an excess on hand and basically performing an audit count on it. Um, I have other techs that goes on, you know, in our slow times and then they will go through and we will do audit counts um, as needed. Sometimes we don't do as many as what they recommend. Sometimes we do more. It kind of just depends on, you know, the situation, but we, the on hand, the negative on hands, the excess inventory, and then the audit counts really help um, keep a better control of our inventory. Perfect. And I will say, as we get into the demonstration in just a few minutes, those are um, some of the things that our team members, Hillary and Phil, will be showing. And then final question for you, LaDonna. Um, if you were to give a few pointers to pharmacies that are you know, struggling with manual inventory management processes um, and, and are considering doing something else, uh, what would it be? I think that um, SIM is the way to go. I mean, it takes a lot less stress off of me. Um, I actually have a telepharmacy too, and our script count is just not up enough there to, to implement SIM. But as soon as she gets to that, I think it's going to be something that we're definitely going to take a look at maybe down the road um, in my second store. But I think it's um, it's worth the money. It takes a lot of headaches away. And not only that, I mean, you save decrease amount in your inventory, you know, is what you save, you know, for what the cost of SIM would cost a person. OK, perfect. Okay. Well, Donna, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate your input. All right. Thank you. OK. All right. Um, now we're going to transition to Phil Stoutler and Hillary Caldwell, who are asset management consultants um, with the SIM team. And they are going to be walking you through a demonstration of the SIM solution. As I said earlier, if there are questions, um, if there are you know, any, any needs or anything that you have, feel free to use the chat box. Um, and Ed Skernis with our team will, will be taking those questions. OK, Phil, it's all you. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Um, good afternoon. My name is Phil, and I'm an asset management consultant on our SIM team. And it's a pleasure meeting all of you virtually. I hope uh, perhaps next RBC we'll all be able to uh, meet in person. Uh, before we dive into the SIM solution to show you the layout and explain some of the functionality in detail, I'd just like to give you a high-level overview. So what is SIM? And again, we'll get into more detail on some of this. SIM is an inventory management solution which enables our customers to better make informed decisions around the product on their shelves in the pharmacy. In the simplest terms, SIM facilitates increased visibility of the pharmacy inventory, greater control over the product being ordered, and an increased cash flow. In addition, 
As uh, dispensing data is received throughout the day, SIM creates and continually updates a suggested order, which helps to limit excess inventory and perhaps more importantly, uh, free up time uh, for the pharmacy to focus more on their patients. So with that, I'll hand it over to Hillary. Hi everyone, my name is Hillary Caldwell. I am also an assets management consultant with the SIM team. Um, and so I am going to go ahead and start to show you um, exactly what SIM looks like um, and what you would see in Order Express if you decided to implement SIM. So you would log into Order Express like normal. Um, and when we get started with SIM in your pharmacy, we have you guys do a pill level count um, and we enter all of those inventory counts into SIM um, so we can track your dispensing history. We get your um, dispensing data from the switch or your pharmacy management system. And so that's kind of how we see um, the activity of your pharmacy, all of your dispenses, reversals, um, and that's how we track those um, items. So. From here, um, the middle of the page, this module right here is SIM. Um, you are going to be able to either enter SIM or interact with um, the items on this um, module right here. So we have an inventory search. You're going to be able to um, search any item in your inventory in SIM so you won't have to spend time walking the shelves um, and figuring out how much you have on hand of an item. You're going to be able to search that item in SIM and see what you have on hand, see when it needs to be reordered. Next, we have the suggested order. Um, that is being built based off of that dispensing data that we're getting from your switch. So throughout the day, we're building that suggested order for you. So at the end of the day, you have an idea of what needs to be ordered. Um, so you can access that right here. And so when you um, enter your inventory into SIM, obviously there's some maintenance that goes along with that. We want to maintain those counts, make sure they're accurate um, so that your suggested order stays accurate. So we suggest that each pharmacy complete daily audits. Um, so we randomly generate a list um, and your staff has access to that um, randomly generated list right here. We typically recommend 25 to 50 audit counts a day. And basically what that does is just keeps your on-hand counts accurate, maintains that initial inventory count, um, and then we kind of go from there. And the whole goal behind the audit counts is to hopefully reduce the need for physical inventories throughout the year. There's an added cost with a physical inventory throughout the year, so our goal is to kind of mitigate that. Next, you'll see our excess inventory. So this, um, box right here. This links to the excess inventory report. So when we take that dispensing data and we're determining what needs to be ordered, we're also looking at what is in your inventory that you're not using up. And so with the excess inventory, we are basically saying to you, here is everything that you're not using. Um, here, um, you may want to consider returning that to Cardinal. So that's what the excess inventory report does. And your staff has access to that right here so they can complete those returns. Um, next, we have our negative items on hand. So like LaDonna mentioned, this is one of her staff's favorite reports. This can help you monitor those partials and outs as well as any split NDCs that you may have. So if they are, if your staff is filling with one NDC um, but running the script on another, this can help you pinpoint that. It also can help you pinpoint, um, you know, those outs, anything you owe a patient and things like that. Um, this really helps keep that suggested order accurate and helps keep those that inventory accurate along with those audit counts. The next thing you'll see down here is current inventory statistics. So we're gonna show you a current inventory value down to the minute. Um, you'll be able to know what the value of your inventory is, how many SKUs you have in your inventory, if we're waiting on any transactions to come across, we also see when your last Rx was processed, and we show that to you, as well as when your last invoice was processed. Um, with the manual process of 
pulling bottles, pulling stickers to know what you're ordering. You also have to keep track of those on hands um, and what you're getting in. But with SIM, we automatically update your inventory when you place an order. We update those on hands for the next day. Um, so your on hands should always be accurate. Um, the next thing we're going to move into is our suggested order. So like I said earlier, um, Sam is receiving that dispensing data every 15 minutes from your switch vendor or from your PMS. Um, so with that, we are creating dynamic reorder points. These reorder points in SIM update every day, and those are based on changes in um, your dispensing data. So when an item falls below the SIM min-max reorder point, it's going to show up on the suggested order. So this um, offers a real time savings because if SIM is managing those min-max levels, you don't have to be um, creating your own min-max levels coming up with when do I want this item to reorder and things like that. SIM already gives you an idea of when that needs to be reordered. Um, and then once those on hands fall below that amount, they pop on the suggested order and you know it's time to reorder them. And then all of the items that you see falling on the suggested order, those are SIM's preferred items. So SIM goes with a preferred item ordering logic, and that's what you see on the suggested order. So with that, I'll pass it over to Phil because he's going to explain a little bit more about those preferred items. Thanks, Hillary. Uh, so while SIM suggests a preferred item, uh, based upon contracts, rebate eligibility, and price, it affords the pharmacy the ability to override that preferred item. So it looks like Hillary has opened up the uh, item settings within SIM, and we'll show you this. Now, this item setting screen illustrates the great deal of options around customization throughout the solution. So we understand that every pharmacy is unique, and it's important that the pharmacists and technicians have control to modify settings in order to achieve their inventory goals and meet the specific needs of their patients. So let's just walk through some of the uh, options here. First, you'll see the ability to set hold dates to bring in product within certain time frames. Next, across the top there, you'll see SIM allows the pharmacy to override the dynamic min-max, uh, which Hillary discussed and is created daily upon historical usage. Back over to the left, you'll see that we call out the item rank. And this indicates how fast a mover any NDC might be. And then below that, SIM provides the ability to set therapeutic equivalent groups to not active, in which case an item won't be placed on your suggested order, or approval required, which will ensure that an item that may have dropped below the min level is being suggested um, for ordering be approved before that's added to an order. And then to the right of that setting, you'll see an option to assign NDCs to a particular location, which is a nice feature when it comes to receiving product toted together by location. And then below that, there's an option to change the preferred ordering supplier. So since we've touched upon um, suppliers just now, Hillary, could I have you pull up the alternate suppliers menu option? I'd just like to briefly show everyone that SIM does provide the ability to incorporate up to eight additional suppliers. In the case of AAP and PBA, we receive the formulary and invoicing data automatically. And within this screen, you can rank suppliers, color code each supplier, and even receive in alternate supplier invoices. Last, SIM also allows for supplier-specific orders to be created. So at this point, I think I hand it back to you, Hillary. Okay, so um, I will go ahead and go over some of our reports. Um, so in SIM, we have a wide number of reports up here up front that you can see on your own. But when you sign up for SIM, you also um, are assigned to an assets management consultant like myself or Phil. And our job is to help you um, manage these reports. We point out um, specific things you may want to know. Our goal is to help you reach um, desired goals with your inventory. So we're here to help you analyze that reporting. If there are 
um, any other reports that you're interested in, customizable reports. Um, if you have multiple sites, we can help with reporting for um, multiple locations. So our goal is to really help you maximize your use of the reports in SIM. Um, so the first report that we will take a look at is the inventory performance report. So this report basically gives you a wide overview of your inventory. You can look at it month over month, quarter over quarter, or week over week. And that helps you kind of see, okay, where did I come from with my inventory? Where am I at now? Am I doing the things I need to do um, to achieve a lower excess inventory, um, higher script count, higher turns, things like that? Um, so when you start out on SIM and we do that initial inventory that I mentioned earlier, this is where we get your baseline data. This is where you start off in SIM. So we have, of course, your average Rx per day, um, your average inventory value, where your sales are at, and then where your turns are at. Next, you'll see performance. So this right here will fluctuate um, based on like what week you're looking at, based on what month you're looking at. Um, but this basically shows you how much you've improved since you've gotten on SIM. Um, this is a demo account, so the numbers look a little bit crazy but you get the um, concept behind it. So then in the actual report, you see week over week comparisons of, okay, here's where my sales are versus my purchases. We have your average inventory. We show any returns you've made. Um, we also show how much you've been using SIM to purchase. So how much you've been using that suggested order. Then we show um, your average Rx per day. This is averaged over seven days. You may only be open six, but some of our customers are open seven days a week. So um, we average this over seven days. Next, we have our turns. Um, and we really like to shoot for our customers to be 12 or greater. Um, so initially, the goal, if you're below 12 turns, is to get you up over that 12 turn mark and then try to improve from there. Next, you'll see excess inventory dollars and percent. So we're going to show you in a percentage form how much of your inventory is excess as well as the dollar amount attached to that percentage. Inventory adjustment dollars. Anytime your staff makes a change to an on hand, we're going to show you um, the dollar amount of that change and how it affected your inventory. We also show you the accuracy of those daily audit counts and how many your staff completed for the week. Um, we show you the min-max overrides as well, so how many items you have overridden that SIM min-max on. Um, and then preferred items as well. So SIM suggests that preferred item based on your contract your contracts, um, your usage, and package size, um, but you still have the ability to override those preferred items because say a patient doesn't like a specific NDC or they need a specific NDC, you can override to get a different um, item. So this will show you those preferred items as well. Um, we also have inventory adjustment count, so we're going to show any time that somebody has made um, another adjustment to an on-hand count. And then service level over here, if you choose to track um, how many partial fills and how many outs you have in SIM, um, we will show that over here as well. So that was the inventory performance report. So we'll move to the next um, most interesting report. This is the one that customers always want to know about. It's the excess inventory report. So with this, we default to 90 days um, inventory on hand. So if something hasn't been used in 90 days, it's going to fall on this report. But you can customize it. If you want to start to run with a more lean inventory, you can take it down to 45 days. You can. I've seen it as low as two weeks. Um, so when you run this report, it's going to show you all of those items um, that SIM has not seen usage on. It's going to give you a total excess dollar amount. So this is that dollar amount that we um, consider excess and part of your inventory. If we scroll over, we're going to be able to see those min maxes, your group on hands, but most importantly, we're going to see the value of that excess inventory and a suggested return quantity. So from this group on hand, we're suggesting that you return 28. 
Um, and then the excess value is what you could potentially receive back if you make a return. We also provide when we saw a dispense last um, for that item, as well as what you last purchased it at and when you last purchased it. Um, the other really convenient thing about this report is if you are going through this report, walking your shelves, pulling off what you want to return, um, you can add to the credit request from this report. So it makes returning the excess inventory really simple. Um, you just go through, add the quantity you want to return, add to that credit request, and you've started the process. The other thing is once you start that credit request, SIM will automatically deduct those returns from your on hands. So you don't have to worry about subtracting anything out that you've returned from the excess inventory report. Next, in terms of visibility, we have the item adjustment report. We also have a drug activity report that shows all dispensing activity for specific items or groups. But the item adjustment report is really cool in the fact that it shows you um, any adjustments that your staff has made. So if you have people using different Order Express logins, we're going to be able to show what kind of change they made to an item and when. So if I run this just to see who made changes to an on-hand quantity, I'll select on-hand quantity and then I will choose a start date and an end date. And this is going to show us in a two-week period what changes were made to certain items and who made those changes. So in terms of visibility, it gives you a lot of visibility into um, if an on-hand changed and it fell on your suggested order, and you want to know why that item was on the suggested order, you can see who made that change. Um, it's really great just for visibility and security purposes. Um, you're going to be able to know what's going on with your inventory and when. Um, so with that, that's about it on reporting. So I'll pass it back to Phil, um, and he's going to talk about um, the customer service you'll receive from us. Thanks, Hillary. Um, yes, I just uh, would like to quickly touch on the customer support piece. Um, one of our biggest differentiators and perhaps the most uh, valuable feature we provide our customers is a dedicated support team. So this adds a great deal of value and is unique to the inventory solutions you'll find most widely used today. Uh, once live on SIM, you'll have access to a SIM product specialist who can ensure the pharmacy receives thorough training on the solution. You'll have access to a specific asset management consultant, such as Hillary or myself, <clears throat> who can be your single point of contact at any time for specialized requests and ongoing instructional or day-to-day -day support. And as AMCs, we also work with a pharmacy I believe, as Hillary mentioned, to provide customized reporting and ensure the inventory goals of the pharmacy are being met. You also have access through your AMC to our operations team who, in addition to facilitating implementations, can help us address any technical issues or questions which might arise. And then our sales folks in the field as well remain a valuable resource. So again, I think it's just important <clears throat> to call out. You're not simply given an 800 number to call for support, you have access to this entire team and we're all dedicated to ensuring uh, the best customer experience for our pharmacies using SIM. Uh, SIM now even has incorporated a chat feature, um, which you can access from any SIM, uh, any screen within the solution. So if you may not have time to reach out to your, your AMC, for instance, uh, folks right here in our office monitoring that chat uh, can quickly respond to any questions you might have or engage one of us uh, to make certain that uh, any issue you're having is addressed. And then last and perhaps most exciting is our dedication to continuous improvement. So we continually take feedback from our pharmacies and implement many of those ideas as features within our solution. One example I like to point out is our grouping feature. So we heard from many folks that they would like access from within SIM to modify those therapeutic level item groupings. So with that, our technical teams work to build that functionality into SIM and continue today to design and roll out new capabilities specific to customer feedback. 
So at this point, I think it goes back to Jen. It does. Thank you, Phil. Um, and thanks, Hillary, as well, for the great demonstration. Um, if there are additional questions that um, you have about the SIM solution, again, feel free to utilize what is, um, feel free to utilize our chat feature and we will help you out. So what is the value in it for you? Um, as you've most likely seen, we are currently running a special, uh, removing the cost of our one-time implementation fee, which is a savings of uh, $3,950 if you sign up for SIM now. And what we wanted to do is just help put it into a little bit more clarity as far as what the value could look like for you. Um, and so what we've done and what you can see on the screen is we've taken the data from an average size retail independent pharmacy um, that was pulled from NCPA Digest. With, with SIM, customers typically will experience a return on their investment within just a few months of implementation when the system is used correctly. And so as you'll see in this scenario, the pharmacy is operating with the average inventory value of about $175,000. And through the use of SIM, um, ROI or the return on investment within the first year alone is approximately $27,000 simply due to inventory reduction and our just-in-time ordering process that Phil and Hillary spoke to earlier. Uh, on top of that, we help you remove the inventory that you don't need. So with the asset management consultant um, that my team spoke with earlier, um, as well as just the, the customer support, uh, we're going to work with you to remove um, that excess inventory so you have leaner levels, um, you have the right quantity at the right time. And on top of that, customers are going to typically experience an increase in turns as well. Um, followed by a time savings just simply due to staff not spending as much time on manual inventory processes. Okay. So with that, this is the final slide for our webinar today. If you have questions um, after today's webinar, I encourage you to go to our page on the virtual marketplace. Um, you can use the chat feature where our team will be on hand. There's also additional resources, including case studies and um, literature that gives you a deeper dive into the SIM solution. So we really appreciate your time today um, and thank you.